Good evening and welcome to Liberty Bend High School. Tonight, WSN brings you a non-conference matchup with a pair of teams that know each other very, very well and have very successful seasons as well. Lipsick Vikings, they are in town and they are matched up with the homestanding Liberty Bend Eagles. My name is Mark Shines. My pleasure to be play by play. Alongside Chris Ruholt. Chris, these two teams are very familiar with each other. Played many, many years in the Blanchard Valley Conference and now a good non-conference match at the end of the year. Well, Liberty Benton was a uh, founding member of the Blanche Valley Conference, and Lipsick came in a year later. So up until a couple years ago, they played every year and had some very excellent battles over the years. And even though they're not in the same league now, that rivalry, uh, I'm sure, is still there. We've got uh, championship teams here as well. Liberty Benton won the BBC for, what, the sixth year in a row. I believe they're on a 61-game win streak in that conference. Lipsick won the Putnam County League. They were second in the Northwest Conference. So we got a couple of league champions here this evening. Yeah, and heading into the tournament, uh, teams want to play another tough team. And so that's exactly what they're doing. Uh, so you want some momentum to get into that tournament. And I'm sure they're both looking forward to this uh, this uh, match tonight. Really good crowd. They're going to be loud, and, and we're going to have a good time. Lipsick is 18-3 and three on the season. They're on a 10-game win streak. They want to continue on a high. Liberty Benton, they are 18-3 and three as well, but they're coming off a loss to Tiffin Calvert. They want to get a good feeling again. Well, Tiffin Calvert's, uh, you know, one of the top Division IV programs in the state, and uh, so it's no embarrassment to lose to a team like that, and I'm sure they want to uh, head into the tournament with the win. And, um, you know, it's fun watching these two coaches. They're veterans, and they both have just done a great job with their teams over the years. As the matches go along this evening, we'll talk about where they're headed tournament-wise. Of course, stay tuned to WOSN as we'll get into tournament volleyball coming up in the next couple of weeks, along with soccer and uh, for both boys and girls, as well as football playoffs will be taking place soon as well. Liberty Benton has won this match several times in a row. In fact, Lipstick has not defeated Liberty Benton since September 12th of 2016. They're both Blanchard Valley Conference members at that time. Lipstick won that match 3-2 to in 2016. That was when Macomb was on its big winning streak, Chris. They won that conference 11-0. Arlington was 10-1, Lipstick 9-2. LB was... 8-3, and three, but that was in a spell when Macomb was really playing top-notch volleyball. Well, they got to the state tournament three years in a row, got to the state finals, just couldn't quite win the state championship, but had great teams, and uh, you and I covered many of those matches, and they were very enjoyable to watch. Michael Lucius is our R1 today. He is on the stand. Cindy Grant is on the floor. She is our R2, and Lipsick will serve first, and that means Casey Bruff. She's a senior, one of six seniors on this Liberty Benton team. Casey serves. This will be Karis Willow from behind the 10 foot line. Lipstick's in the black uniforms this evening. LB's in white. And that kill, first kill, goes to Olivia Jones. First kill of the game, right through the block. Olivia has 178 kills this year for the Vikings. She is second. On her team, person serving, Casey Bruff, leads the Vikings with 254. This is Gherkin out of the middle, and Gherkin ties it at one. Well, she hit that right toward the back line. Nobody was back there to play it. Lauren Gherkin, who this week announced on Tuesday that she will continue her academics and athletic career by going to Bowling Green State University and playing basketball there. This is Caitlin Earljack to serve. And there's that hit again. It's out. Well, or was it touched? No, it was out. No touch. Olivia Jones tried to put that one on the back line. Missed the back line. I wasn't sure whether it was touched or not. Somebody dove for it, but there would still be a lipstick point or a, a, a Liberty Benton point at 2-1. Hit out of the middle. That's blocked by Gherkin. It's 3-1. Kill attempt was by Marissa Hermiller. Liberty Benton has their typical tall team again this year. Not quite as tall as last year, but but Gherkin at six foot tall uh, blocked that ball right back on the court. Here's the set. Double blocker that time. The set again by Serenity Seifer. And then just poked to the back row, and Seifer sets it again. Really good set as she put the ball right where Marissa Hermiller could use it. 166 kills this year for Marissa. 167 now. Yeah, there you go. 
And to serve will be the setter, Serenity Seifer. 28 aces for her. Diving save. Willow from deep has to hit that one. And comes up short at 3-3. Liberty Benton has played 59 sets this season in their 21 matches. Lipstick has played 67. There's an ace. Talk that one up for Serenity. That short serve uh, has been fairly effective so far tonight. And Liberty, Liberty pulls up their back row a little closer. 4-3 Vikings. Cross court to Willow. And that one went across the net. Block came down on the side of the Vikings. We're tied at four. And Lauren Gherkin will serve. Of course, Lauren is just a junior, so Bolden Green will have to wait a year for her services. She floats an ace. No, going to be played across. Good hit by Danzy. And then a wind up and a kill for Karis Willow. Mark, I have a challenge for the Liberty Benton Physics Department. Oh. I want them to determine the spin rate on Karis Willow's spikes. I know the spin rate for me, if she hits it at me, I'm going to spin it's rapidly spin. and run the other way. <laughs> <laughs> See for sets. And that kill that missed, it missed the back line on the attempt by Olivia Jones. Out by an inch. No, they have missed by fractions on a couple of those. Here's Gherkin to serve again. Played by the libero, that's Elena Brown, that's blocked. And either Hanny Wells got it or Sophia Barber, they were both there. Well, Barbara's another one of those six-footers, and, and Wells, Hanny Wells jumps pretty well. Hanny Wells uh, does jump well. Barbara's list is a six-footer, and she's a junior, as is Wells. Off a blocker that time. Overpass. Good play at the net, however, by Barbara to keep it alive, and then Earl Jack hits it over. Tipped. That's played by Alyssa Hanny Wells. And the net kill will be chalked up to Olivia Jones. That's her second kill tonight. Ends a four-point run for the home team. And that also means Olivia will serve. She has 22 aces this season. One of those really good all-around players that uh, Coach Newell always seems to come up with. Ball will be set by Spies. Spies will set that one again. And Willow puts that one away. Well, that time she went down line. She's hit the other cross court or a little bit to the central, but that time down line, that was open. She's got three kills already. There's Katie Collard in. That means Jada Todd will take a seat, and Hannah Wells will serve and then set from the back row. And that's going to be four contacts. That's the Hannah Wells. Much like we spoke about a moment ago with Jones, just one of those good all-around players. Diving save there by Jones. Here's the set, and Collard tips out of the middle, and she missed the sideline. Good effort, just missed. The line judges have had some tough calls already. already. We're still early in set number one. Absolutely. Here's the libero, Atlanta Brown, to serve. Little just tips, and then Bluff hit it across. And they play it across again, that time by Earl Jack. And then off a of blocker, a point for Danzy. It's 9-7. Brown will serve again. That's the first kill for the freshman. Collard. And then Bruff out of the middle. That's played by Spies. And Willow tips to the back line and missed the back line. Pushed it a little hard. I heard somebody yell out. I couldn't tell if it was a player or somebody from the bench. Trying to tie it up with this service. 
Kenny Wells will set. Willow played by the libero, but it goes out of bounds. Good effort by Brown, but the overpass went out of bounds. 10-8 as Willow goes back to serve. Penn State signee where she will be playing her volleyball next fall. This will be Nestrick hit that ball. And then block that time. Nestrick was there as was Sophia Barbara. That's the third block for Liberty Benton. 11-8, they are tall across the front line. Even when Karis Willow at 6-3 is in the back row. And Willow will get an ace. Wasn't sure whether to play it or not, was she? No, and those, you know, the, the one who plays it is not the one who calls in or out. That's got to be the other players. And uh, you, if, you're, if, if it's coming at you and you're not sure, you want your teammates to yell it soon and loud. Willow has 27 aces to their first 21 matches. There's a kill will go to Casey Bruff. And she gets her first kill. Four different girls have kills for Lipsick. This will bring in number 16, Sydney Schrader, to serve. 13 aces this year for Sydney. Good pass. We'll joust to the net. Bruff won it. And we got somebody wearing a black shirt in the net. It looks like it was Serenity Seifer. 13-9. Back in will be Samantha Hazelton. She's a junior. She will play in the back row. Speed serves. Bruff with a big hit. And this time we get an eagle in the net. Is it seven? I believe it was. That would be Gherkin. Uh, Bruff had the kill anyway. There's Danzy, the freshman. 33 aces for her this season. Spies plays it and can't get to it. 13-11. Lipstick's last lead was at 3-2. They've been chasing the Eagles ever since. But neither team's really had a long run. Yeah, Maybe correct. did Liberty have four-point run four, maybe? Four points, yes. A big hit that time by Nestrick. And right back at you, that came from Jones. Here's Seifer and Bruff. Willow gets to that one, and Nestrick tips. Good play by Brown. Good, good rally this time. Nestrick again, that's blocked. And now, good effort, dismissed Kenny Wells. I think that might have been outside the antenna anyway. I'm not sure, but it looked, it looked like it was outside the antenna. But that was a, a good point there, both sides. Yep. Here's service by Danzy again. Wells will set, and Willow just pushes it over from behind the 10-foot line. Jones hits it long. 14-12. Jada Todd returns. Jada plays the back row and sets from there, and when she does that, Alyssa Hanny Wells becomes a hitter in the front row. Bruff tips it to an open spot and gets a point for doing so. And she gets her second kill. 14-13. And with that, Casey Bruff gets to serve. Gherkin, 15-13. Lauren's second kill. Caitlin Erdeljack will enter to serve, and when she does that, Riley Nestrick goes to the bench. Little back row, front row exchange. Jones off a blocker. Willow just tips an open area. There was somebody wearing a black shirt in the net anyway. I guess it was Serenity Seifer, 16-13. Well, that set was pretty close to the net. I, I didn't know if uh, I was focusing on Willow, but uh, Serenity might have just uh, gotten a little bit too close, maybe thinking she could tap that ball down. 
There's a kill. Looking to see who did it. That was her Miller got it. Trying to wait until she turned sideways so I could see who it was. 16-14 now. Eagles. Vikings trying to catch them. Serenity Seifer serves. Willow off a blocker, still got in. 17-14. That's her sixth kill. 390 kills this year in 59 sets for Karis Willow. She was player of the year in the BBC a year ago and first team all Ohio. And uh, Chris, I cannot imagine she's not repeating those things this year. Well, she'll be in Division Two this oh, that's year, correct. so yes. that, that might matter. Good point. Off a um, blocker, killed by Ava Henry. And the Division Two coaches maybe don't know who she is, although right. they, if they would go to the state tournament, they would have seen her twice in the last three years. Which, uh, Todd talked about that was a little bit on Tuesday night, moving from Division Three to Two, and not knowing your opponents, but of course them not knowing you as well, also. Yep. Danzy tipped that one across. Here's Willow. Good play by Brown and see for sets. That one's blocked at the net by Barbara. And just free balled over. Todd set. Willow's blocked. See for sets. And tip. Oh, good play nice. that time. Todd got to that one. Another, Another good point. Off a of block. Willow gets to this one. Here's Karras again, puts it away. Chris, that was a side of a point that both sides can be pleased with their fan base. It was, and, and I almost said something, but I didn't in the middle of that. I thought maybe one of the setters would tip the ball over or dump uh, the ball over, but they didn't. Here is That's a good time to do that, though. You have those long rallies. Alyssa Hanny Wells serves. That was nice. And right out of the middle. Tip by her Miller. Marissa's found a good spot there with the ball. She's got three kills now. 18-16. Marissa with 166 kills through the first 21 games. Here's Brown to serve. Elena, she's one of the six seniors. Willow tips the ball and see if it couldn't handle it. There's a little bit of a change up. Yep. And here's Kill. Willow to serve and as always happens then, Riley Nestrick moves in to play front row. Good play. Danzy got to that one. Couldn't keep it alive. It's 2016. Played 36 points. We haven't had a timeout yet. I'm yes, we have. Just Here thinking comes. that myself. Okay. Yep, Lipstick takes first time out. They trail. 20 to 16, you're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard is presented by Charles Rivers Spencer Drill, the premier pharmacy and chemical research in the state of Northwest Ohio. They're hiring. Visit jobs.com to apply today. Four point Eagle lead, hence the timeout from Coach Newell. Willow has to go down to get that one. Hanny Wells sets. Nestrick shots blocked, then Bruff plays it, and they're going to get a point out of it to the Eagles. Both teams are hitting the floor going after those uh, balls that are bouncing off their hands. Really nice effort. Five-point lead. Here's Willow's third serve of this rotation. Bruff hits and pounds it into Hanny Wells and gets a point out of Bruff it. Bruff hits it hard. Yes, she does. In the serve is Sydney Schrader. Spies has to play it. Nestrick. And Nestrick gets a kill. Olivia Jones couldn't get to it. It's 22 17. That's her second kill. She does a nice job complimenting Willow on that left outside hitter spot. Here's Claire Spies to serve, one of the three seniors that were honored this evening. Here at Liberty Benton. Super sets, Bruff tips. And the libero has to set. Free balled over. And kill, that goes to Danasia Danzi. 
Danzy gets her second kill. And then she retreats to serve. Just pushed across by Collard. Ruff again in the middle. Spies gets it back. And then off a of blocker, we get a point for Lilia Jones. Well, Jones gave a really nice pass to Seifer, so Seifer returned it and gave it right back to Jones. Here's Danzy to serve. Looks like trying to make a run here late in the set. Kirkland tips. Seifer will set Bruff again and pounds another one. 22-20. And we're going to get a timeout this time. This one will go to Liberty Benton. I'm going to keep it right here. And Chris, uh, you know, you mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, you know, these two teams could play anybody this week. You know, they have chosen to go out. Liberty Benton played Tiffin Calvert, as you mentioned, a very talented team on Tuesday. Lipstick now tonight. These two teams chose to play good competition to get into the tournament. Well, you know, good competition going into the tournament, plus they're old rivals, so you know they yep. want to continue to play each other. It's a, you know, it's a short trip, and so lots of good reasons to play, and you want to see that really good competition, especially because these teams got really high seeds, so they might not see competition like this for a match or two, assuming that they would, they would win for a match or two. So, um, yeah, they want to go out the regular season playing the best. Let's talk about the turn a little bit. We'll do Liberty Benton's now during this timeout. We'll get Lipsticks later on. Liberty Benton moves into Division Two this year. They're in the Bluffton District. They have the number one seed. And they will play the number 13 seed, Toledo Rogers, on the 18th at 6 p.m. here. That night, Brian is number 12 seed. It plays Maumee. And the winner will come back and, assuming that Liberty Benton wins, play here on the 20th, also at 6 p.m. The district semis are the 25th, and on the 27th will be district finals in Division II. Those are at Bluffton University. That's a great facility. It is, isn't it? Yep. Yep. 23-20 now. Liberty Benton want to serve the set out with Jada Todd. Bruff goes off a blocker and throws it out with this set of service. Bruff's got five kills already. The force in the middle. Now she retreats to the back row to serve. And when she does that, Marissa Hermiller enters to play in the front row. So both teams now are in their opening uh, rotations. Rough serve. Annie Wells. And she will miss long. It's 23 22. There's Casey Bruff again. Durkin in the middle, and she pushes it to the back row where it's played. That was Jones. Durkin, block, but Willow gets it over. And that time her Willow tips to an open spot. We're tied at 23. And we will get another LB timeout. We're going to take this break. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. WSN scores app is the easiest way to follow local high school sports. Come to more schools, more sports, and more scores at WSN. You can search WSN, the App Store or Android Play Store. Our Charles River scoreboard says we're tied at 23. Lipstick has not led since they were ahead 3 to 2. Durkin just tips it this time. Lipstick's going to get a shot at. Seifer bumps it over. Todd sets, and then Durkin gets it blocked but plays it. Hanny Wells tips. Jones is blocked. I think Destrick got that one. Well, they kept her on the right side there just to just for that purpose to block. So uh, nice job by Riley. And then Riley gets a bunch of handshakes on the far side of the floor as she leaves and is replaced by Caitlin Earljack, who will serve. 
And Earl Jack serves an ace in the opening set. We'll go to Liberty Bend 25-23. Set two coming up after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight is presented by Charles River and Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio. Hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Chris Luthold, what stat numbers do you have from the opening set? Well, for Liberty Benton, they had 12 kills, led by Karis Willow with eight. They had two ace serves. Willow had one of them, and Erdeljek had the one that gave them their 25th point. They didn't miss any serves, and they had four blocks. Uh, Lipsick actually had more kills with 14, led by uh, the senior middle hitter, Casey Bruff, with five, and the other middle hitter, Marissa Hill Hermiller, with four. They missed one serve and had no blocks. I think that was an important set for Liberty Benton. You know, they lost in three sets here to Tiffin Calvert. The third set, they were, that, the Calvert just dominated. So, a good opening set win, I think, for Liberty today. Yeah, it, it, it especially, you know, they, they kind of let Lipsick back in that. and. <laughs> And yeah. Lipsick earned their way back in it as well, but they had four or five point lead going into the tw uh, when they were in the twenties. So, so a nice job by Liter Liberty by holding them off. Okay, this will be Jada Todd who will open up the second set with her serve. Seifer sets, and that's blocked. Handy Wells opens the scoring in set two with a block. But Liberty Benton has done the better job blocking tonight with uh, five blocks for points. Lipsick doesn't have any blocks for points yet. Well, Lipsick had all their people there ready to play, you know, after should the block occur. There's Gherkin gets a play. Well, that, that's a difficult uh, skill to practice because um, the, the ball comes off the hands at different speeds, different locations. They, they are covering the block well, Lipsick is, but uh, it, it's tougher than you would think. There's Jones. And she goes through the block this time. And Olivia Jones scores. Yeah, she's pounded it through block a couple times. That's her fourth kill. Olivia just a junior this year. Seifer serves. And Gherkin left that one in the net. We're tied at two. Looked like, uh, I'm not sure that hit her in the hand. Did that hit her in the forearm? Maybe just a little mistiming there. Yeah, I, I thought it was a mistime on her part. And the serve goes long. 3-2, three, three, Eagles. Caitlin Earljack will serve, 5-5 five, five, junior. 17 aces for Caitlin this year. And that kill will fall for Ava Henry. Took a long look to see if they got any inside the end line, and it did. Junior gets her second kill. She got one in each set. Jones serves. Good job saving by Todd. I thought that ball was headed into the net, and she got to it and made a play. Well, she did do a nice job. She used her, uh, the front part of her fist and just popped that up, and, and Gherkin picks up her third kill. That means that Lauren gets to serve. Tipped across by Danzy. Diving play by Erdeljack. There's Danzy with a kill. Danasia, the freshman, put that one away, and we're tied at four. She's got three kills now in the night. Elena Brown will serve this ball. Good pass. Collard shot comes back. And then the kill goes to Willow. Lipsticks had their hands on a couple of uh, Willow's spikes, um, but they haven't been able to uh, block it back across the net yet. There's Alyssa Hanny Wells to serve this ball, and then she becomes the setter. Good tip by Danzy. Back set, pushed across Collard. Danzy again. 
to Spies. Well, those shots blocked that time, and Bruff pops it up. Collard pushed that one up. Bruff just tips to an open area. Spies will back set Willow. Another long point. That was about as good a back set as you can get, Chris, and that came from your libero. Yeah, well, you know, they, the perfect spot for that, I learned by watching uh, Big Ten volleyball, is five feet off the net and five feet in the court, and that's about exactly where that ball was. Two-point lead, Eagles. And Bruff missed the sideline. I was looking to see if there was a touch that time. There was not. 7-4 Eagles. Annie Wells will serve again. Seifer will set Danzy. And then a push for a point will be so wrapped up by Sophia Barbara. 8-4. That's Sophia's first kill. Liberty now has four girls with kills. Doubled them up at 8-4. Have the Eagles. And that will be an ace. It goes to 9 4. Candy Wells has 33 kills now on the season, and Lipsick takes a timeout. They trail by five and set two if you're watching high school volleyball. Good. are celebrating its 40th anniversary this year at WSU as part of that celebration. We're going to $40, so thank you for 40 years of local broadcasting in this region. Donate online at WTOW.com backslash donate, or you can call 419-339-4444. Charles River scoreboard, Eagles 9, Vikings 4. Second set. Earl Jack. Three balls and over. Seifer will set. And she sets Buff and it gets blocked. And Willow was there, so was Barbara. Well, you got six foot and six three, but Bruff is also, you know, in between those two heights, but that's the seventh block for Liberty Benton. Good serve. Seifer will free ball it over and they keep it alive. And Willow goes up and What did, Marty, what did Marty Brenneman used to say? Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's a good night right there. That's hard to defend. Again, with Hanny Wells. She's been on a real roll with this service. Danzy hits. Here's Seifer set. She's going to set Danzy. And that is blocked. There's Pollard there as well as Barbara. It's 12-4. Seven points now for Hanny Wells in service. And almost an ace. Well, she's mixed up the speed on her uh, serves pretty well. Then she backs that and with the slide but missing on the sideline. First time they've run that tonight, isn't it? It is, and that's a good time to do it. I'm sure they were set up, uh, Lipsick was set up to defend uh, Willow on that, so it was a good time to run that slide. Eight consecutive points, seven of them by the service of Alyssa Handy Wells. And then that's going to be four contacts, maybe five or six. <laughs> and the, the point then on service by Sidney Schrader. Six-point lead, Eagles. Willow hits it to the libero, Brown. And then Danzy goes off a blocker. Earl Jack saves it. Speech saves, or, uh, Brown saved that one. And that ball point will go to Karis Willow. Not as clean as some of her points, but it still counts. And she will serve with a 13-6 lead.
Tipped across by Sifa. Good save by Brown, and they keep it alive. Good job, Lipsick. Four hits, it was. The ball did not clear the net, so four hits. About eight girls and one coach for Lipsick called that four hits before, <laughs> before the well, first whistle blew. You know, it's not a violation until the ball contacts the fourth uh, time. Right. So, you know, even yeah. though everybody knows that it's going to be a point. Jones behind the 10 foot line. Nestrick gets a point. And that's her third kill. Lipsick has served five times in this set. Three of them have been side outs. Here's the libero. Spies. Hits it to her counterpart. And then a kill that goes for Olivia Jones. And she has five kills. She ties Bruff with the, for the team lead. How about this? Liberty Benton has served six times. Four of them have been side outs, but they had that big run in there by Hanny Wells. And that will go outside the antenna, so that point will go to Lipsick. Chris, do you count that as an ace? I'm not sure how you I it, would count that as an ace yeah. because the first the second ball could not be played cleanly at, at all. I mean, a slower person wouldn't even got there, so that would be an ace. Well, it just gets a finger on it to get it across. I thought she might have been on the line. Well. Nestrick. And we get an eagle in the net, and it would be Lauren Gherkin. 14-10, Lipsick making another run. Six out of the last eight points have been scored by the Vikings in set two. See Bruff serves. Jones gets that kill. 14-11. Casey Bruff on a bit of a roll here. She served three consecutive points. Gherkin has to set Nestrick. See for sets. Oh, a couple of good nice plays. Job. They keep it alive. Peace again. Here's Willow from behind the 10 foot line. She rolls it over this time. Good play. Gherkin hits to the back row and she will get a point as Samantha Hazelton couldn't get to it. Hazelton made one really good play but couldn't get to that one. It's 15 11 as Jada Todd serves. Diving effort by Willow on the kill attempt by Jones, but I think there was someone in the net, right? Looks like it. I think it might have been Hanny Wells, but not sure. I think the sign was number, was number six, I believe was what our down official Cindy Grant said. That would be Alyssa Hanny Wells. Gerken just has to tip it. And we get another. Eagle in the net. This time it was Gherkin. 15-13. Well, Gherkin's not uh, disagreeing with that, so. Lipsick has never led in set two. That's blocked. Here's Hanny Wells. Seifers plays that one and sets it. And then Gherkin. Put it in. 16-13. That's Gherkin's uh, fifth kill. She's second for her team tonight. <clears throat> Caitlin Erdeljack has turned to serve. She has 17 aces in the 2022 campaign. Todd will set. 
And kill by Karis Willow, 17-13. That's her 13th kill. And we're going to get a lipstick timeout at 17-13 on break two. You're watching High School Volleyball at WLSN. The sports report started Friday night. We went back to Chandler for a full hour of the most comprehensive football coverage around all season long Fridays at 10 p.m. on WTLW. Well, it's week nine, Chris, of high school football. Week 10 coming up, and I, we've already got playoff games we're looking at trying to figure out who we can match up with. And, you know, we know they started earlier than, than in the past, but it just still seems so early to be week nine. It does. Coming out of the timeout, we get a – Good play by Marissa Herbiller to get a point. So Lipsick breaks the string and makes it 17-14. Willow. And <laughs> line judge had to duck and then make his call. It's 18-14. Yeah, after this set, he's, he's going to go over to the other line judge and yeah. say, listen, we're switching <laughs> the rest of it. I don't. You know, when they used to, the team switched in, you didn't have to worry about that. <laughs> You'd get, yeah. <laughs> It's your turn to get uh, somebody drilling the ball at you like that. There's an ace. That will go to Gherkin. 19-14. Liberty Benton's fourth ace tonight. She led uh, Liberty Benton in aces prior to the season. She had 38 on the season. See for sets. And Danzy hits it off a blocker for a point. That's her fourth kill, ninth kill for the outside hitters from Lipsick. 19-15 as Elena Brown serves. Off the net on the shot by Willow. Here's Danzy, she just rolls it over. Oh, good play. She forgot to that one. And... Earl Jack hits it, and it's going to fall over. And Earl Jack gets a kill. I will say it twice. Earl Jack gets a well, kill. Well, she wants you to say it because here we are in match 22, and according to the score sheet, that's her first kill of the <laughs> year. So she's <laughs> yeah, got a big she's very, Yeah, so good for her. Well, she'll be the spike line now tomorrow in practice. Yeah. <laughs> Spies is going to back set Willow. She hits it to Jones. Brough will tip to an open area. You talked about how smart she is at the timeout break a minute ago, Chris, and she certainly did right there. Yeah, she she can hit hit to both sides of the both sidelines. I'm not talking about Casey Brough now. She can yep. hit to both sidelines and she can tip to both sidelines. Very savvy. Sydney Schrader will serve this ball. There's Willow again, and this time she hit it long. Well, she didn't get on top of that thing. Um, that doesn't happen very often. 2017. Lipsick had it tied at 4-4, four to four, and then a big run by Hanny Wells, and they've been chasing the Eagles ever since here in set two. Willow from behind the 10-foot line hits it to Brown. Ruff tried to tip it to an open area. Hanny Wells will set. Oh, talk about placement. How about Willow with the left hand? Yeah, nicely done. Nobody was over there. Of course, she's 6'3", and, you know, probably has close to a 10-foot vertical reach. I don't know that she reached 10 feet that time, but that's really tough to defend. In basketball season, they call it length, and she yeah. has that. Ruff is going to set Jones from behind a 10-foot line. That's blocked. Seifer hits. And trying to push it to the sideline with Sophia Barber, and she missed, and she is perturbed with herself on that one. 21-18 as Danasia Danzi serve. Nestrick shot goes off a blocker. And then it was put over by Katie Collard. And Liberty gets the point. LB 22, Lipsick 18. Six girls from Liberty Benton now have kills. Claire Spies will serve. One of them is Caitlin Erdeljack. 
set. Barbara, or excuse me, not Barbara that time, but the big hit by Bruff. Well, this is about the time where uh, Lipsick made a little bit of a run in the last set, and this might have been the same rotation. That is interesting. They trailed a 22-17 in the last set and came back and got it to 23 all this set. They trailed 21-18. Let's see how this plays out. That's going to be a kill. 23-19. Katie Collard gets her second kill, both in this set. Katie Collard then heads to the bench to 5-10 junior, and David Todd will serve. Seifer. And then a big kill out of the middle. Is that her Miller? I believe so. Yes, it was. I was. I'm a little bit blocked on some of those. Uh, with agreed. The, I had a body in yeah. front of me that time as well. I thought that's who it was. And when she turned around, we were able to get her jersey number. So here's Serenity Seifer to serve. I need to holler at Mike Lucius, the R1, to duck it. Get when, out of the way. Yeah, yeah, get out of the way. Down in front. 23-21. Here come the Vikings. Seifer will serve again. 732 assists in their first 21 games for Serenity. That's a lot. That is a bunch. Annie Wells will roll it over. And there's a kill again. And her Miller again. That's her seventh kill. 23-22. This time out will go to the Liberty Benton Eagles. They still lead by one. Let's talk about the Lipsick Vikings and their tournament draw. We gave you Liberty Benton earlier today. They were, talking about the Vikings, the number one seed in the Van Wert District. Somewhat interesting, Chris, because the number two seed was the Crestview Knights. And yet the, the Lipsick lost to Crestview way back in September, and Crestview was the league champion. But they were the number one seed in that district. Uh, the number uh, eight seed, Pandora Gilboa, plays the number nine seed, Patrick Henry. That is on the 18th of October, and Lipsick will then play the winner at home on the 20th. There's really, Mark, no distinction between the number one seed and the yeah. number two seed. They are in opposite brackets of each other. Um, so uh, there's some prestige in it, you yes. know, but... Uh, yeah but there really is no difference. Their district is the October 25th and 27th, and as, as you said, Chris, if each team should win, and obviously there are big matches to play before then, then they would match up on the 27th. That would be a 7 p.m. matchup, and that would be at Van Wert High School. Right now, Lipsick's trying to get back, and that's it, it fell on the line. We're tied at 23, just like we were in the last set. Coach Todd asking the R2, Cynthia Grant, if that was an accurate call. She agreed that it was. Seifer serves. Brown plays it. Seifer's going to set again. And blocked in the middle. Gherkin got a block. That's a fifth block for Liberty Benton in this set and ninth overall. Caitlin Erdeljack will enter to serve. Her team leads by one. They won the opening set 25-23. They're trying to do it again right here. Seifer sets. That's blocked by Gherkin. Seifer sets again. This will be Jones with the hit. A blocked again. And just like in set number one, Gherkin gets a block. And Liberty Benton will take set number two, 25-23. We have both sets. We've got set three coming up right after this. Watching high school volleyball at WOSN. Our scoreboard is presented by Charles River and Spencerville. The career pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.com to apply today. Well, Chris, number 10 in Division II, Liberty Benton. Number 13 in Division IV, Lipsick. We've had a great match so far. What do our stat numbers say? Uh, in set number two, Liberty Benton had 15 kills, led by Willow with seven and Gherkin with three. They had two ace serves, no miss serves, and six blocks for points. That's 10 blocks for points now so far for Liberty Benton. For Lipsick, they had eight kills, led by Herr Miller with three. 
and uh, four ace serves led by Seifer with two, uh, and a couple of those came right in the 20s at a good time. Uh, they missed one serve, and they have yet to block for a point. Now, they have blocked some spikes, but Liberty Benton's block coverage has been able to keep the ball in play. And Lipsick's block coverage has also been able to keep the ball in play, but Liberty Benton has just blocked so many more balls, and that gives them 10 of their 50 points have been on blocks. Got to kind of wonder what the mindset is for Lipsick right here. We trail in both sets. We come back and make a 23 all in both sets. And LB is able to close it out with two final points in each set. Let's see how Lipsick comes out here in set three. They come out going to Jones. This will be Hanny Wells. That's blocked. What do we got? Uh, the ball was not, I think the ball didn't clear the net. Okay, the point goes to Lipsick. And on, on your point, Mark, uh, I, I think, you know, if you, you can tell your Lipsick girls just do the same thing because it, I, let's just be happy to be tied 23-23, only this time let's get it. Let's get the win. And there's a block of Karis Willow that comes back. I think that was her Miller at the net. And the first two points coming out, kind of answer your question, Lipsick scores the first two points under service by Casey Broff. Gherkin played in the nice back dig. row. Yeah. Spies played that one. And Todd gets the set. Kenny Wells rolls it over. And we're going to get a double contact that will go against Lipsick. Henny Wells is asked to do a lot of things, Mark. She, of course, sets in the back row and serves and sets in the back row. In the front row, she'll play part of the time as a left outside hitter, which means they're expecting her to get some kills. And now she's playing on the right side where she'll assist with sets if she needs to and is expected to block. Seifer kept that one alive and got it over. Then Willow's blocked and then Gherkin hits, but Brown gets it. Played over by Hermiller and Gherkin hit that one to the middle of the floor for a point. She gets her sixth kill. Well, let's look at some uh, Alyssa Handy Wells numbers, 34 kills. 32 aces, 268 assists, and 111 digs. Just one of those all-around players that gets a whole lot done. Here's Danzy from the back row. Here's Willow, and she gets it in. It's 3-2 Eagles. The wind off that kill knocked the line judge back about five feet. Here's Caitlin Erdeljack. 17 aces for Caitlin this year. She has 157 digs as a back row player. Playing roughly half Good the pass time. there. Yeah. Jones, and that kill goes to Olivia Jones. We're tied at three. No, I really like the outside hitters from Lipsick, Jones and, and Danzy. And both young. Danzy's a freshman, Jones is a junior. Yeah, they'll so be, both be back yeah, next year. Be back next year. There's Willow. That's blocked. Willow again. Brown got it. Tipped across. That's going to be a point. I couldn't see who tipped that. Well, I'm that looking was uh, Hermiller, I think. Lipsick with a 4 3 lead. I give it to Hermiller. That's her eighth was. kill. Could have been Henry, but uh, been, not yes. sure. See for. Bumps it up in the air. That's going to be an overpass and a kill for Durkin. Tied at four. That's her second kill in this set. Here comes Durkin to serve. Lauren, a six foot junior. See for sets, back set. Well, Will was going to hit this one. It's kind of softly over. Jones is blocked, but she gets it up out of the net herself, and then goes up and hits it again. Danzy played that one. Gherkin tracked it down. Earl Jack's going to hit it over. Is nice high ceiling here. Is that a kill? Not yet. Not yet. Gherkin got to that one, and then Willow hits it for a point. 
I, I know this is an exaggeration, but doesn't it seem like LB wins all the long points? It, it seems like they have. We don't keep that stat, yeah. but it, it can be a little demoralizing for, for Lipsick. Block. That block will go to Sophia Barber. She, we don't keep individual blocks. I should say I don't keep individual blocks, but uh, she's had a few tonight. That's block number 11. There's Gherkin to serve. Seifer hits it up in the air, and Jones gets it across. And then Willow hits it off the net. Yeah, I think it hit the net, didn't it? Or hit the antenna, didn't it? So hitting air then. Yeah. 6-5. That was what our... R2, Cynthia Grant was saying. And that's an ace. We're tied at six. This, uh, Jones's first ace tonight. She has 22 in their first 21 matches this year and will serve again. Four different girls have, ser uh, have ace serves. Willow just left hands it. That's twice now she's been set a little too close to the net and just pushes it with her left hand. Well, you know, her arms are so long, and, and uh, she can just get to that ball where, uh, you know, somebody of my height, would, and I'm 5'11", would probably not be able to reach that. The collar it will serve. Her Miller tips it to a spot. Nice job by Spies. She's done a nice job tonight back playing the back row. And block for a point, 8-6. I'm, I'm laughing a little bit, Chris. I, I was in a middle school today, and a little boy asked me how tall I was, and I said 5 foot 17. He said, nah, you're not that big. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, well, now maybe he thought you were 5 feet 16. Well, maybe he did. Uh, that's a good point. <laughs> Tip to an open area, but Collar gets to it. That's blocked. Played over by Henry. Annie Wells pushes to the back row. Seifer will set again. This time it's Danzy, and it's a touch. So Danzy gets a kill out of that. It'll be 8-7. It's her fifth kill tonight. And Elena Brown will serve. Elena has 42 aces this year to lead Coach Newell's team. And she gets another one right there. We're tied at eight. It's her first ace tonight. Five different girls have aces for the Vikings. That's going to be another one. And it will be 9-8, Lipsick. Well, quickest way to score a point. They led 2 to nothing, and now they lead again at 9-8. Willa doesn't get many hits out of that corner. Did that time, Bruff played it over. Here's Willow again, and this time she gets it off the net for a point, tied at nine. She hits well on the right-hand side. I, you know, I don't know where she'll play in college, uh, but I can see her as a right being 6'3", and she has a very nice arm swing for that right-hand side, which a lot of right-handers don't have that natural good outside hitter on the right side. Seifer will set now. What do we got? Ball must have been in the play of the net because it was tipped straight down. That'll be a point for the Eagles. Wasn't sure whether it got to the play of the net or not, but our official Mike Luke said it did. That's really tough to see, yeah, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. I know you've been in that position. And uh, we're off the net a little bit here, so there's a kill. That goes to Henry. We're tied at 10. She's got three kills now, one in each set. Ava Henry. That's 105 kills, does the junior. They're going to have a really good front line next year, aren't they? A lot of girls back to play across the front. They will miss Casey Bruff, but uh, they've got some good people coming back. And, and they will miss a Serenity C yeah, for their setter. Better. So that'll be the number one thing is to find a setter. Uh, there's a double contact. Uh, I've watched Coach Newell's team for many years. Coach Newell finds and trains a setter. Well, he probably has, he if not one, maybe two in mind already 11 10 Vikings and Willow has to just free ball it over let's see what Danzy does with this one block Annie Wells will set again that was Barbara out of the middle 
Gruff hits this one to Willow. This will be Danzy. Danzy again. Gruff in the middle. That time Lipsick won a big point. And they will take a two-point lead here at 12-10. That's Casey Bruff's seventh kill tonight. She had five in the first set, so she's been a little quiet since then. Sydney Schrader will serve this ball. Barbara pushes it over. Here's that Schlerdy set. And Bruff gets a kill off a of block. Three-point lead, Vikings. Timeout, Liberty Benton. It's Lipstick 13. It's Eagles 10. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Lipstick Vikings trailed 10-9. They are now up to 13-10. Set number three, and uh, they will get service. Sydney Schrader. Willow from well behind the 10-foot line. Here's Bruff again. That's blocked, and it will be a held ball. So another point will be chalked up by Lipsick. And, and that, again, that's service. Bruff's, excuse me. Go ahead, Mark. That's just good. Schrader serve. And she missed it long. That's only the second miss serve, third miss serve tonight, all from Lipsick. Liberty has yet to miss one. Teams have served well, and they, and they both serve fairly tough. Miles Holiday and I talked about this on Tuesday. It seems as though the teams we covered down south, Shelby County League, Mac, they play a little more risk reward with their serve. I agree. Than they do up here in the northern part. There's another kill by Bruff. Yeah, I agree. Remember that? I think we were at Fort Loramie where they had the X's on the wall. <laughs> yeah. The bottom of the X was a tape that was as high as the net, and above the X was about two feet, and the girls were to serve the ball on that X. In other words, they want to clear the net by less than two Ace. feet. But keep it as low the net as you possibly can. A little bit of that, uh, again, risk reward. There's an ace that's chalked up. It's a six-point lead here in set three for Lipsick. That's the 11th ace serve from the Vic, uh, Vikings tonight. And in this set now is the Eagles trying to play catch up. Nestrick will set, and it's just pushed over by Collard. Bruff hit that ball, Gherkin blocked. And then Gherkin tips and finds the wood in the open area. Gherkin gets her eighth kill now. Seems like about half of them. Might have been on tips. 16-12 as Jada Todd will serve this ball. And off a blocker. Point for Olivia Jones. Kill number seven. And a five-point lead as Casey Bruff goes to serve. 254 kills, 27 aces, 5 assists, 91 digs this year for Casey. Nestrick kills from this side. That's her fourth kill. She hasn't got as many opportunities as uh, Willow and, and Gherkin, but uh, she's has a pretty high percentage on her kills. Caitlin Erdeljack will serve. Team trails by four. Seeker will set again. And Jones will hit for a point. Back to a five-point lead. That's her third kill in this set. Three consecutive times on service. Liberty Benton's gone side out. And Serenity Seifer to serve. And Gherkin missed the back line. LB looking touch, but they don't get it. I thought there might have been a touch there also, Mark, not at the net, but in the back row. But she it's so hard to it, tell yeah. here. We're, we're Line judge is a lot closer with a better look than we are. Yep. And Willow makes it a five-point lead. 
It's her 20th kill. And with that, Lauren Gerken to serve. Ace for Gerken. 1950. That's her second ace tonight. And it is the fifth ace for the Eagles. Three ball over by Todd. Her Miller tips to the middle of the floor and gets a point. That's her ninth kill. Here's Olivia Jones to serve. Talked about well-rounded players. 178 kills, 22 aces, seven assists, 216 digs for the junior. Willow. Danzy. Herb Miller hits the middle of the floor again, and Spies is going to set Willow. And they try to track it down. Good effort. Very good effort. Yeah, Jones just got it up in the air, but couldn't get it to where a teammate could use it. 2016, Vikings on top in set three. It's Hanny Wells to serve. Ooh. And they try to track it down and cannot, and another ace for Hanny Wells, 2017. It's her second ace. And this will be a Liberty Event for an Olympic timeout. Vikings still up by three. You're watching High School Volleyball at WOSN. Our scoreboard is presented by Charles River and Spencerville, the premier farmers of the chemical research in Northwest Ohio. And hiring, visit jobs.sunriver.com apply today. Chris, I'm going to have my mail delivered to Finley this week. I've been to Liberty Benton Tuesday. Here on Thursday, tomorrow night, I'll be here for the St. John's from Toledo versus Finley football game that will air on Saturday on WOSN. So, Finley week for me. Well, Liberty doesn't back away from uh, tough com opponents in football, do they? They've got McComb week 10, I believe, and that will be a WOSN telecast. Willow hits it over. That's played by Seifer. Set, Henry. Spies gets it. Here's Willow. Good play by Brown. And then the tip of the net. Good point by Sophia Barbara. Well, Mark, every team in the BBC has a, has a BBC bye week, a league bye week, somewhere in the middle of the season, except for Riverdale, who plays one more league game than the other teams. Very odd. Yeah, it is odd. There's a block. That's also Barbara. And it's back to just a one-point lead, four consecutive points. That's the 13th block for the Eagles. Six out of the last seven points have gone to the Eagles. They're trying to do what Lipsick did, and that is come back in the set they trailed in. Tip. And that's going to be a point. That was Herb Miller again. That's her 10th kill. Well, we're going to have a, another uh, possible two-point set. Yes, we are. This time it's the Vikings on top, 21-19. Brown serves. Set. Willow. Hello. 22nd kill for Willow. And she will now go to serve. That means Nestrick comes in to play the front row. There's Karis Willow. Ruff hits out of the middle, played by Henny Wells. Ruff again. Willow got to that one. Henny Wells will set Nestrick. That time went to Danzy. Here's Danzy's hit. It's blocked and right back at her. How many blocks for Sophia Barber today? Well, she's got to be in about half of the blocks. Of course, half the, half the time her position's in the back right. row. But I would, I would say she has half of the uh, 14 blocks that Liberty has. And we're tied at 21. Ruff will set Danzy. Spies will set Nestrick. 
and she gets a kill. Mark, I remember in the state championship game last year, Sophia uh, got in for a couple plays, and she got a very key block one time, and she was only in for a couple serves, and and uh, so I'm sure she remembers that as well as I do. That, well, that was a, a lipstick timeout, but Chris, uh, she just, it's a timing, and it's not really something you really teach. You can practice it, but it's a timing, and she just seems to have that natural ability to do that. She does. She's also six foot. She's got long arms, and, and that helps us too, even somebody shorter who has a higher vertical jump, her arms don't stay above the net as long and their arms are moving quicker on the descent. So in, anybody tall with long arms, and but you're right, you watch that, you wanna make sure you're not watching the ball, but you're watching the hitter once that ball reaches its peak so you can work on that timing. You can check out our website, WSN.TV for scores and standings for more sports and teams than anyone else in the state. Check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, social media posts, and more at WOSN.TV. And now Lipsick finds himself trailing after having a lead that at one point reached, uh, let me see here, looks like it was up to much, about four. That was at six at one point. Let's see if the Vikings have a run in them yet. Ruff says, yes, we do. Well, that's what you do, right? You go to your senior? Yep, that's her fifth kill in this set which matches what she did in set number one. She's going to be all league in two conferences oh, this she, year. Oh, yeah. Here's Schrader to serve. Sydney. Yeah, her table at graduation is going to be filled <laughs> with. A little bit of hardware. Yeah, we need another <laughs> table. <laughs> Nestrick gets a kill. That's Riley's sixth kill tonight. 23-22 in favor of the Eagles as there's Libero. Claire Spies will serve, one of the three seniors. It was senior night here. They honored the Lipstick Vikings and, of course, had a presentation for the three homegirls as well. Six seniors for the Lipstick Vikings. Danzy just tips it over. Annie Wells is going to set Willow from behind the 10-foot line, and she got it in. 24-22. That's her eighth kill in this set. A lot of times from behind the, the attack line, she just doesn't get as much power. That time she had overspin and all on it. Overspin. Yeah. Physics department at Liberty oh, Benton. I want, that, I want that spin rate. You want, there we go. Rough hits, and it's in. Lipstick stays alive in set three. Well, we are going to see another two-point set. Here's Danzy to serve. Her team trails by one. Trying to even it up. Good serve. Hanny Wells will set Willow and doesn't score. And she slipped hard on the floor right there. Second block for Lipsick. Both of them are in this set. We're tied at 24. Here's Danzy to serve again. Annie Wells is going to set Gherkin, and Gherkin bounces off of a blocker for a point. And that's her ninth kill. 25-24 as Jada Todd enters to serve. This is a good rotation right here for uh, Liberty Benton. It's got, their first rotation. Lipsy's got Bruff in the front row. See if they can get it to her. Nope, they're going to go to Jones. Jones hits it to Spies. Ruff played that one. Willow played it, but hit it out. They're tied at 25, and Karis Willow goes down hard again. And she's got farther to fall than the rest of us. Tiffin Calvert defeated Liberty Benton 31 29 in the opening set on Tuesday night. Todd will set. Gherkin missed the back line. Lipsick leads. And Liberty Benton will take their second and final timeout in this set. Both teams have used all of their timeouts. What questions do you have about life and about God and about things happening in your community or family? Get answers when you watch Life Questions. Each week, four local pastors will discuss relevant topics and answer questions submitted by people just like you. Life Questions is on TV 44 Sundays at 1.30. And Wednesdays at 9.30, you can also find it online at WTLW.com. 
Lipstick Vikings going to try to serve this one out, Chris. They've scored four out of the last five points. And they had served right here. Yeah, they were looking at, uh, at match point with Liberty Benton serving, but they were able to hold that off. And, and um, now they've got the upper hand with a one-point lead. It was 24-22 Eagles. And now it is 26-25 Vikings. Casey Bruff will go back to serve. I don't think Coach Todd had to tell uh, Jada where to set this one. You think it might go to number four? That's where I'd be putting it. That's no, going to go to Gerken. Or there. Who missed the sideline, and Lipstick comes back, and they take set three. 27-25. We're going to set four right after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard is presented by Charles River and Spencer Drill, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio. They're hiring. Visit jobs.scriver.com to apply today. Lipstick comes back. They take a 27-25 victory in set number three. How about our stat numbers, Chris? Well, for the Vikings, who won that set, they had 12 kills led by Casey Bruff with six, and Jones and Hermiller each had three. They had five ace serves from four different girls. Uh, Brown ended up with two of them. They had one miss serve and two blocks. Uh, for Liberty Benton, they had 17 kills led by Willow with eight and Gherkin with four, Nestrick with three. They had two ace serves, uh, no miss serves and four blocks. That gives them 14 on the day. A couple of blocks right away, and Seifer will hit that one, and we got a Liberty Benton Eagle in the net, and it will be Durkin. So the first point will go to Lipsick. Casey Bruff will serve. Willow from behind the attack line. She curls it in. Good nice play dig. In the back row, yes. And then Gurkin gets a block after the really nice play by Schrader. Mark, we've seen some really good blocking teams this year and some really good teams in the state. And I, I don't think we've had a match where somebody's yes. had 15 blocks for points, not to mention the ones that are blocked but not for points. And we haven't had many missed serves tonight either. Well, unless I've missed one, which is always po a possibility. Yeah. That's Liberty Benton's first missed serve. I, I couldn't remember another one. Let's see for the serve. The team leads two to one here in set four. Good play at the net by Jones. And then Willow gets one off of Jones. That's kill number 24 for Karis Willow. Good blocking teams can demoralize their opponent, can't they? They can, and, and it's you hope that they improve their block coverage as the match goes on. Henry hit that one. This will be Willow again. Oh. That set was about as close as the net you can get, and she just uh, really took advantage of it. That might have landed inside the spiking line. If, yeah, it if not, yeah. it was very close to it. There's Gherkin's serve again. Her team leads 3-2. Henry. Another one. Well, when you need a point, guess where they're going? Uh, I don't know where. <laughs> so. Well, but Gherkin has nine kills she and Nestrick yeah. has six. So right. there is, they're mixing up a little bit. But again, that's a 25th kill for Willow. That's pretty good. See from nice sets. set. Her Miller has uh, made a tally hitting the ball in the middle of the floor tonight. Hanny Wells hits that one. See the libero Brown. And Hanny Wells just tips it over, keep it alive. And then Seifer hits it, but it's blocked by Willow. And it goes out of bounds. Somebody up in the crowd behind us yelled, keep fighting Vikes. I, I don't think that's a question. They really have fought this season. They season. do. 
There's a Herb Miller kill out of the middle of the floor. That's her 11th kill tonight. 5-3 in favor of Liberty Benton as Olivia Jones will serve. Todd. Ball is tipped over by Barbara and in a block. Willow and Barbara both there. 6-3 and 6 foot. And they send it back. Hanny Wells to serve as Katie Collard entered. And got it on the line. Came off her hand funny. She still scored a point. It's her third ace. 35 of them on the season. But she had 32 before tonight's action began. So she moves over to the left to stay away from that line. <laughs> Seifer will push it up in the air. And Danzy hits that one. Here's Spies to set Willow. Good play by Brown, but she can't keep it on the floor. 8-3. Another nice set by Spies. Five feet off the net, five feet in. There's a, well, we've talked about many times this year about your libero being your second setter. She has done a good job this season for that in that respect. Good serve, good play, however, by Jones. And then Brown just gets it over. And Willow, off a block, got as much power as some of the other ones, but good result nevertheless. And with eight out of the last nine points being scored by Liberty Benson, Lipson takes a timeout. We're going to break two to watch the Mets volleyball game. First time out, that will go to Lipsick. Well, five of those points in this set have come on Karis Willow kills. Penny Wells, Alyssa will serve. Vikings to regroup a little bit, see if they make yet another comeback this evening. Here's Danzy, and I don't think her shot was going to get over the net either way. It's blockers there, it's 10-3. LB serves again, and that one will sail long. 10-4. Just the second miss serve for Liberty Benton tonight. Lipsick has just three. Here's Elena Brown, the libero to serve.
Welcome back to Liberty Benton High School. I've got Julie Todd here, head coach of the Liberty Benton Eagles volleyball team. Julie, congratulations on this is a nice win uh, against a very good Lipstick team. Yeah, we, I'm so proud with how my girls battled back after uh, Calvert on Tuesday night. And they had fun and they played with intensity and made like incredible saves. Our blocking was phenomenal. I'm sure you'll probably ask me about that. And and um, credit to our back row defense too, just making making touches when they needed to. So I think we talked about like, we need to be better at defense. We need to have defense to kills. We're really good at having an easy pass to the set is always a kill, but you've got to earn them out of hard, out of defense and out of serve receive. So that's a very good point. And you had 20 some blocks tonight, which is just a phenomenal amount. Is that season high or, or do you know that? Um, it's not a, it's gotta be a season high. I don't think we've ever had that many and shout out to Sophia Barbara was in on 13 of those blocks. So she was a spark plug tonight. She was battled. She keeps everybody enthusiastic and I'm really proud of, I think almost every player probably had her best game tonight, but Sophia just really stands out to me right now with the blocking. Yeah, I agree. And Karis Willow, 31 kills, but six different girls had kills tonight. Yeah, I'm really proud of, again, mixing it up. Riley Nestrick stepped it up tonight, and we just told her, swing hard, swing hard, swing hard, and she did a great job with that. We always get kills out of Lauren, and Lauren had a good um, hitting night again. But, yeah, mix it up. Alyssa got some kills, and Katie Collert got some kills. So I'm super proud of how they played. And Riley's last kill was down line after going cross court most of the night. Yeah, she loves to do that shot in practice, but, you know, it has to be in the right spot on the net for her without a blocker there for her to do it in a game. So I was glad she chose the right moment to do that. Well, tournament starts next week. So what are you thinking about that? What, what are you going to have to improve going into the tournament? Well, I mean, I feel like we've seen an improvement on just – keeping our energy level up from Tuesday to Thursday. That was a goal that we had. Um, and I think like we're, we just need to work on transitioning our middle hitter. I'd like to use our middle hitter a little bit more, but in those really fast plays, I know it's hard for them to get back in transition and be ready to hit. So, and just keep working on serve receive. That's something I feel like every team can get better at. And that's something I want us to get better at. Well, good luck in the tournament and good luck to Lipstick also in the tournament.